explain you how we made the tequilas. We're gonna give you good samples. We make blanco tequila, reposado, añejo, and we make three different flavors, which is peach, almond, and coffee with vanilla tequila. See? Always in Mexico we say, mi casa es su casa, right? So everybody know what this plan is, right? Agave, agave. Which color? Green. Green? The blue. 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 You can see right there in the corner, we have the green agave, see? So this is the blue. In Mexico, we have more than 150 kind of agaves. Here in this area, we use the green and blue. But with the green agave, we make mezcal. You know about mezcal? Mezcal is the ones with the worm inside. And many people say, no, 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 it's tequila, tequila with the worm. Tequila, mezcal, you know, are two different, two different things. So for me, the tequila, we need agaves, blue agaves, from seven to 10 years. This is like five years old. See? And when the plant is seven or years old, from the middle, from the middle of the plant, you start to have another part of the agave, the ones we call it el quiote. You know about the aloe, aloe vera? Yes. You know the aloe vera has something on the middle and the flower. It's the same with the blue agave. When we have the flower, it's ready, and then we take all the leaves out. Why? We don't need it. We need only the base, the center from the blue agave. We don't need the leaves, the spiky leaves. We don't have any use, but we have the fiber. With the rest of the agave, the fibers, and other factories make and other things, like hat, shoes, and belt. So we use all the blue agave. If we cut the lips, we kill the plant. But you can see, start to have the babies around, and we have to remove, we have to replant, because we need to wait another seven to 10 years for made the tequila. Let me show you the base from the blue agave. It looks like pine cone or pineapple, big pineapple. Okay, so now look like pine cones, pineapples. Now, how many bottles, how many liters of tequila can we take from one agave? One pineapple. So you have a idea? Tres. Diez. Okay, listen. Here on this cylinder, this distillery, for every 10 kilos, every 22 pounds of agave, we make uno, one liter of tequila. So we have agave spinach from 30 kilos, 40, 60, so can we make like three, four, or sometimes six liters of tequilas from one agave, from one pineapple. See? We make the good tequilas. In Mexico, we have only two different styles. Good and <laughs> right? Good tequilas, when you buy bottles, you have to see, you have to read on the label. If say 100% of puro de agave, 100% pure of agave or blue agave, it's good quality. If not, be careful because we have tequila mixto. Do you know why we call it mixto tequila? We need mixes with another sugar. Actually, when it's only 51% agave and the other 49, who knows? They have like sugar cane, colorant cane, and that's why they stay beheaded and hang over. So if say 100%, it's good quality. The best, do you know which one is the best? The best tequila in Mexico? No? No idea? The best tequila in Mexico, amigos, is the one is free. <laughs> no, the best is the ones that you like. That's why we're gonna give you one of each. We have blanco reposado and añejo tequila, right? This is the cooking area. You can see we have the old function. It's like oven. We don't use anymore. So now it's only for show. The old fashioned, they cook the agaves for 24 hours, sometimes for 36. Now we have the autoclave, the aeroplane. So now we take like 10, 12 piñas, we cut pieces, little pieces, we pull it up, we close, and then we add like 150 liters of water. Now, amigos, we cook the agaves on eight hours, eight hours by gas. Taste from the agave when it's cooked, the taste is kind of like sweet potatoes. Now in Mexico, we have the agave nectar. You know what the agave nectar is? Agave nectar is kind of like syrup, like honey, like sweet. This is the one we use to sweet coffee, tea, and that tastes it very good. Diabetes people in Mexico, they love the agave nectar. The taste is excellent. But you know what? When we have a fresh agaves, we love the center from the blue agave. Why? The taste is kind of like jicama. You know about jicama? Actually, we cut pieces, we add lime, salt, and tahini, and we eat it with a shot of blanco tequila. So pieces from the blue agave and blanco tequila. Wow. Let's go together. Maybe too heavy, like 200 kilos. With some boards, the largest push the big wheeler all around, and then the amigos, because we separate the juice and the fiber. Now it's very easy. Why? We have electricity, the electric machine. So now we take the agaves, we put it here, and then.
juice, all the sugar from the blue agave. This liquid is too sweet. It's the ones we call it agua miel. You know agua miel, man? Agua, water, water and miel, honey. honey. So we have the honey water. So it's too sweet, so we need to ferment. We take the honey water, and then we have the fermentation area. Only it, you can find it right away on the floor, but we don't use it anymore. Why? The rough absorbs the liquids, and also we start to find the one and the grass, or what you say, also the same fermenting, but not like it. But that's better, or better, something. We need this one then. Okay? So we take the honey water, and we add the yeast, break the yeast, start to ferment, start to make bubbles. When we see the white cup on the top, we say, oh, it's ready for me, that's the key. So we have almost melassa, melassa is from the blue agave, and we have like 4.5, but we need more than 25%, so we, have, we need to distill. So we take the honey water, and then we boil for another six hours, for six hours we have a evaporization, all the holes going out, pass through the filter, 79 school water, so we have a condensation, and then come a little by little, and we have the first destination. For destination, I don't recommend you for green because the government produces three different salts, which is the ethanol, methanol, and acetone. Maybe what happens if you drink acetone, the way you need to make you blind and sick. Methanol, you can use like that's only for time. That's why we're making another second destillation. So we just kill twice, but on the second destillation, we can kill the methanol and acetone. People from Guadalajara, you know Guadalajara is like five hours from right here. People from Guadalajara buy the methanol and acetone to make another product. So we take only the best, which is a cylinder tequila, tequila black. And we make black the tequila, reposado, añejo, peach, almond, coffee. So, are you ready to have fun? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Let's go to the facility. To the tequila. Listen, if you like to make margaritas or still, this is the best. Chats like this is the best. But just keep it on the freezer. Chill is much better. Here in Jalisco, we drink the tequila with no lime and no salt. Why? Because we say the lime and the salt is only to kill the taste. Good tequila should drink like this, straight all the way down, straight to your stomach, and then you have to bring very deep like this. Keep, keep your mouth closed for two seconds, and then exhale by your like this. And then you can have the taste from the blue agave, the alcohol going down, and then they start to feel caliente, like a burning inside. But I think you feel good, right? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, first thing is, the smell. Thank you, smell. Well, good, right? Okay, now, come in after me, please, and now we say, arriba, arriba, abajo, al centro, para adentro. Okay, remember the best 
the best is the ones that you like. We have one more, which is Añejo Tequila. This one has two years and a half. Two and a half years. See? This is a city tequila. I do recommend it for me, Margarita. Many people say, hey, can I make Spence and Margarita? Or can I add Coca Cola? I say no, because I think you waste the money. The best for me, Margarita, remember this? No. tequila. This is good, and I recommend you to drink on your pot. All right. Little bit more expensive. I think if you find your property, you pay more than $200 a bottle. See? But don't worry, here is less expensive. $199. <laughs> $99. Now, one more thing. This one I want is like a little bit more strong. This one has 40% proof. First two, Blanco and Reposado, 28%, 76 proof. This one has 80. Right? Smell like a smell. And now we say up, up, up down, down, center, center, center. enter, enter. Breathe, <laughs> open your mouth. And then you can have a piece of the wood, more woody. Yeah. Right? So, which one do you like better? Natural, casado, or Now let's go. Here in Jalisco, we're going to make tequila we love with chips and salsa. Do you like chips and salsa? Yes. Okay. We made many things here in this area. Actually, here at this area. Here we have, for example, we made hot salsa. We're going to get the drunk with chips and salsa. Also, we have a, you know, a puerto vallarta. We have a sea salt. This is made with habanero. See? Sea salt with habanero. Also, we have with if you like something sweeter, salt and sweeter, we have a uh, uh, vanilla. You know about vanilla, right? With vanilla, we have with chipotle, cilantro, and also if you like, uh, for example, if you like tequila with lime and salt, okay. Now we have a uh, salt with gusano, worm, mango. Uh, Salt and it's warm. It's good. Actually, if you want to have a warm, if you have a one piece of orange, cut a bit of the orange, and then you can add uh, salt like this and lime on the top. And the taste is amazing. It's good, right? So we have a this taste. But she's going to provide you chips and salsa. See? Try the hot sauce. It's good. A banana sauce. If you like, uh, for example, uh, ceviche, we have ceviche, you can have ceviche, tacos, sweet tacos, cheeseburger, and the taste is amazing. So you have a chicken salsa, and now we're going to give you the peach tequila. Who has one of them? Peach. Do you have one of them? Dulce, sweet. No, no, no. So if you like to make margaritas, peach margaritas, why not? Or I use with pork chops. That's why you use cooking pork chops. It's kind of gravy. And then you can have like three tablespoons for your pork chops. And one, uh, one shot for you. I say happy pork chops and happy chicken. What's the one? And the dishes? Right? What's the one? Okay. What's the one? 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 Say good after dinner, after lunch, after breakfast, before breakfast, good for any time. Salud! Every morning I add two shots to the coffee. 
order to make a way behind and follow your money pressure. One more thing, if you like the service of the ladies of the Minneapolis ladies, right here, right? Okay, so everybody's here, right? 